think that that is a, a good idea. And I... All options are on the table, Glenn. No, I don't think all options are on the table. If, if this president, this Russian president, president Vladimir Putin, mm-hmm. if he doesn't stop what he's doing in the Crimea, right. first of all, I'll cry me a river. <laughs> I'll cry me a river, like Crimea. Right. It's a it's a little diplomatic this, Crimean uh, these, diplomatic. Maybe, do we have an sort option of, of maybe that not sort of being on the table? The ice. Uh, See, you know, you say all the <laughs> options are on the table. Is there? Is a, how about this? There's one? not a single option that's not on the how table. How about this one? Uh, it's you know up to the Ukraine and Crimean people, and uh, that's the only option that is not on the oh, table right, right now. Okay. Every other option <laughs> is currently on the so table. So then, all options are not on the table. Well, all of them except for doing it's, nothing. It's we must do right. something. Something really? has to be done. We we have to do something. All options are on the table. For right. instance, I'll tell you one thing. Right. That we're considering very seriously. All right, because today is the day. Today's the deadline. Because you said you and said this could on scare the hell out of the Ruskies so. Yeah. Badly. All right. That they stop doing what they're doing right probably now. Probably not something. That... We could. What we could do, Glenn, mm. is we could press another reset button. You know they don't want us to reset our relationship again. <laughs> that right. would hurt them deeply. The last time that you. They... We could go to the UN right now. Right. And actually pass a resolution. Right. You could. Which the Ruskies will block, of course. But then we could pass another resolution. Right. Which. Uh, they would also, again, block. They would block. But by the time we're done, Glenn, what we could wind up with is another 17 or 18 resolutions that have, that have been, been blocked, blocked against them. Right. But imagine uh, the shame that they would feel when they sit down at that table in the U.N. I don't think that and, would be uh, shameful at all. I think they might it mock would hurt us. Them would, I don't think it would hurt them at all. Now, this option is not ideal, perhaps, but we could have the Syrians step <laughs> in and tell us that they will broker a deal with the Wait, Russians. The Syrians, could, the do Syrians that. could do this, sort of like this the is one of the options of what happened before right, this, in Syria. <laughs> right, this and is we'll one of the say, options that are. This is one. This right. is one of the options, uh-huh. and and we could say, okay, that would work, and then the American people will just forget about the whole thing and start watching Honey Boo Boo again. Right. That's a that's the Honey Boo Boo option. That's the Honey Boo Boo option. Right. It's, it's, we're calling it uh, by its top secret name right I now. Don't, well, it's not really top secret. You're on the radio and you're now saying no, that something it's something else that is downright chilling, Glenn. Right. But <laughs> our this, president now is this like a is is this, this, chilling? Is this a Genghis Khan? This is almost in a fashion reminiscent of Genghis Khan. Uh, but our president Barack uh, Obama is actually considering, and I, uh, I don't want to scare the Red Horde into a preemptive <laughs> nuclear strike. Like the Red Horde. Horde. But this president uh, could mm-hmm. send them his greatest speeches collection, Holy just cow. as he did the Queen of England. Right. You know they don't want that to no, happen. No, they don't want that to happen. They will stop that... at at what they're doing. Right. They'll let's stop. say let's say they don't back off. Let's say, let's say they'll it. just say that Russia All right. is a little more committed. Well, this to is not things. our first option. Right. We're we're saying this is a last ditch. You're 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 going with me now. On a we're on the crazy of, train. We're on a crazy train <laughs> right, here. <okay. laughs> we're we're with Ozzy right now. Okay, yes. And this is a last ditch attempt at resolving this crisis. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But if the Ruskies don't back off, I could They're get in a- touch with Teresa, uh-huh. who's having her nails sharpened right now in Saint Croix, <laughs> and I could right. ask her to call the Heinz Corporation. Right. And have their entire supply of Ruski ketchup shut down, completely right. cut off. Can right. you imagine the power of the United States of America that we can wield? You don't mess with this administration where we can you're, cut you're off su- your ketchup you're, supply. You're suggesting that a Heinz ketchup, Heinz ketchup stops, stops n- and they'll right have there. to deal with only Del Monte. Let's just say that <laughs> Russians will have to deal let's, with... Let's just go out on a limb and right. say mm-hmm. this fails. If all else fails, you're talking about the unlikely scenario that everything I've outlined <laughs> the, so far the, 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 doesn't the, scare the hell out of these the Ruskies. The red button. horn is, is right. stopping the at nothing. Ketchup doesn't work. The, then here's the what good willing, idea of Syria doesn't work. What I'm almost willing to do right. is go to Vietnam. You know that I fought in Vietnam, Glenn. I fought in Vietnam for nearly half an hour. <laughs> right. I could go back there, mm. and I could get wounded again. For the 38th time, I could step on a rusty can, let's say, or something, and receive yet another Purple Heart. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Mr. Ruski Vladimir. 
What have I got? My 39th Purple Heart. I don't know what that even has to do. How many Purple Hearts do you have, Glenn? I don't have any. That's right. So shut your fat trap. (laughs) (laughs) This would actually make me feel better (laughs) if this were our actual policies. But I think our policies are probably worse than that. Worse than this. (laughs) I think they might be. I think they might be. The president, I'd like to ask the president, but the president won't know what our policies are because the president's not showing up at any of his briefings. Again, you had, when was it, Thursday, when John Kerry came out and said, there's a red line. There's a red line. They don't want a red line. I'm going to put a red line right (laughs) here. Remember the Syrian red line, how effective that was. They've got a deadline of Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay. All All right. right. And I'm, I'm on vacation. I'm like... We gave the Russians a deadline? I mean, what do you... Or what? Or what? Well, that's what we're going to outline today, Glenn, and uh, just some of these options I've already shown you. But all options are on the table <laughs> right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's... right. So here it is, Saturday, two days before you go into, you know, the world championship, you know, this is a title fight. And you're going against Vladimir Putin. Are you at the strategy meeting on Saturday? Do you just show up at that? You show up at the, the in the ring and just like oh, I just want to take a look at this thing before we get into it on Monday. Do you show up? Well, it depends well, on what else I've got going on. Yeah, I mean, you know what, what I mean? strategy you're talking about? How, how to play the 18th hole? I mean, if it's yeah. a par five, are you well, then, are you going to lay up? I'm looking to go for all over that course. Again, I don't know. Who, who is on it? And I, I mean, this is an honest question. Who's running our damn country? Who is making the policies for our com- our country? The president doesn't go again to his national security briefing two days before a red line is passed. And we're going to go out and outline. Here's what we're going to do. I say the president is seeing our plan for the first time this morning. He may have... This is a big May. He may have read it in advance. He may be getting his briefing on what we're going to do at exactly the same time you are getting it. He may just go, uh, it's in the prompter. I'll just read it. Yeah, I mean, because it would be inefficient to read it twice. We've got to read the same it twice. Yeah, yeah you, I you mean, you can get a little once. stilted if you read over it the first or second time. You just like to be spontaneous. <laughs> You know, <laughs> he oh, likes to be surprised. Uh, cor- corpseman. I think it's Corpseman. <laughs> I mean, how does that We've happen? seen what happens when he does that, yeah. but it does sound sp- spontaneous then, doesn't it? Sounds like it's just coming off the top of his head. Because <laughs> if he practiced it, he certainly yeah. wouldn't say Corpseman. <laughs> he wouldn't think. <laughs> Seriously, uh, what are the odds that he reads our policies at the same time you're hearing them come out of his mouth? I think there's a real possibility. The guy's not going to his briefings. When do they give him? When he's sitting in the John? Do they slip it under the door? Hey, Mr. President, I know you. It's, it, it used to be a three-ring binder, but we we can't get that under the door. We just look at this one-page sheet on what we're doing to the country. Oh, remember how utterly devastated and focused this country, uh, this country's media was on the fact that President Bush would go to uh, you know Camp David too often on vacation quote unquote there's never an accusation he wasn't doing all of his meetings or it was just that he was on vacation Mm -hmm. this guy's not going to meetings he's not meeting with important cabinet figures that say that they've never even talked to the guy in person uh you know where is that criticism i mean this sincerely i want to know who is running our country you remember the commercial you know it's 3 a.m yeah yeah, he didn't. He's disconnected the phone line, guys. Yeah, he's he's like, I don't. I, you know what? We don't need a house phone. Yeah, but Mr. President, you don't have a cell phone either. Three a.m. It could so be eleven in the morning. He's not there. Yeah, he's not answering I mean, the phone. The guy's <laughs> not there. Uh, when when you know. are challenging, well, I hate to say what Mitt Romney was right. Challenging now our biggest geopolitical foe. When you're calling him out and say it's not like you said hey you know what whatever you do on crimea and we're just going to stay involved no 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 he said monday monday after the school bell rings right here dude right here 
It's Monday. The bell's about to ring. Now we're saying, uh, I can't. I have to take the bus I, home. I, 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 I thought you I was going to fight you, but I, I got to take the bus. I, I, I can't miss it. My mom will get mad. I yeah. saw somebody. What did they call him today? I saw somebody said that he made uh he he made uh carter i don't remember what it was it was such a great slam on him it basically made carter look like putin mm-hmm. that i mean mm-hmm. he is i've never seen anything like it 